And here's what it was looking like Saturday morning, the 23rd of March, 2024. The first significant snow we had this month. And then here's me doing a little plowing this morning. When I shovel the deck off this morning, we had about five inches of snow since yesterday morning. And during the day to day, I think we picked up another, say, two. So it'll be interesting to see what we have by tomorrow morning again. This definitely wasn't the high moisture content stuff that they were predicting. They were saying it was going to be heavy, wet snow. It's fairly light. They didn't have a whole lot of moisture in it. Not very packy. Report from the town. Marginal conditions. And as they put on their post, they are not grooming. For the simple reason they really don't have enough to groom. And on top of that, the ground underneath is not frozen, so they just would have picked, pumped up a bunch of mud, made a mess. And we got time lapses for Stillwater Trail Information Center, Macaulay and Nelson's. And you'll see there's a few sleds up at Stillwater today. It snowed most of the morning. Uh, early to mid-afternoon, it, it tapered off. So the storm warning they had extended till like 11 o'clock tonight, no, didn't, didn't pan out. After reviewing the radar and stuff, it looks like east of us got hit pretty good. And then we got out on the trail. Few sleds going past. So the people that did come up, I don't think they regretted it. Um, I had some people call me saying, you know, what should they do? And I said, well, it's, it's, it's all your call. You'll see right here, they did have the groomer out right there to knock down the snow banks in the parking lot at the information center. But I told people, I said, you know, it's, it's, it's your call. I said, you know, you got to remember the state trails are closed. Neighboring clubs are closed. So, you know, you are locked in just the old Ford system. But quite a few people took advantage of it, as you can see. And here's up at Macaulay. And this fresh round of snow definitely brought things back around for them. And then we have up at Nelson's. And you'll see it snowed pretty good all morning. You can't see the other side of the lake. At 8 p.m., we're at 19 degrees, and that is the low for today. We're supposed to be down in the teens tonight. The high today was 31, and that was at 1 p.m. Sunday, we should be in the 20s. Monday's going to be the beginning of the end of this new snow because it's going to be high 40s, maybe even 50 with sun. So I broke my sled out, went out for a little bit of rip, zipped off 20 miles, nothing big. I just figured I'd show you guys what it was looking like and get that end of the year video in that I usually do just so you guys have something for a fix so you can look at all summer long before we get back to snowville season and there was trail one made a right on trail three Further down three. And 
This is a little bit further down three. And then I cut into Pine Grove. You get a little, little reluctant to push out on the edges. You know, you stay in the beaten path because you don't know if there's trees or anything else laying underneath the snow. Like right there is one laying. And this is on trail 3A. This is the one that goes between trail 8 and 3. Traffic wise, I would say it was equivalent to midweek, like a Tuesday or Wednesday. And then here's coming in Trail 9 into Carter Station. Some of the trails were really nice and smooth, and others were definitely washboards. I always like throwing this in because everybody knows where this is. And then the last is for you guys that didn't get that last trip through the cover bridge. Well, here you go. This is for the end of the season. So as I said, I highly doubt we'll be getting any more snow this year. If we do, it won't be enough to ride, that's for sure. Especially with the way the temperatures are looking. And then we have the snow coverage for the last three days. And you'll definitely see us changing in northeast. There's 21, 22, and then 23 is what we got today. And there you go. Well, hope you guys are having a good weekend. And remember, see ya.